excuse me, may I help you? How much is girl going for? We don't have payment plans here, okay? Well, I mean, I could pay for it right now if you want. I got cash. No, we don't accept dirty money here. I can definitely afford this car. I'm a very serious buyer. We could work something out. I'm gonna have to call the police and have you arrested for trespassing. Of course, this happens all the time. Yeah, hey, I'm over at Wesley Motors and I need to report a trespasser on our property. Yes, sir. We have that precise vehicle right on the lot and in the color that your wife requested as well. Yes. Yeah, I would suggest you get down to the lot as soon as possible because, well, that vehicle is not going to be around for much longer. Okay. That is nice. Favorite color is red. Mid. Oh. Hey, wait, hold on. Okay. Yeah, we can work with that. All right. Perfect. Okay, great. So then I will see you then. Okay. Bye-bye now. What's that juvenile delinquent doing on my lot? Um, excuse me, may I help you? Yeah, hello, you work here? No, I'm just hanging out at the used car lot for my health. Yes, I work here, I'm the sales manager. Great, how much is girl going for? Way more than you can afford, kid. Hey, look, I don't know about that. Look, we don't have payment plans here, okay? And besides, I have a customer that's on his way to buy this exact vehicle. Well, I mean, I could pay for it right now if you want. I got cash. <laughs> cash? Oh, no, 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 no. No, we don't accept dirty money here. Dirty money. What are you trying to say? What are you trying to imply? Look. You're obviously not a serious buyer and you are wasting my time. So if you wouldn't mind leaving the premises like now. All right, look, let's um, let's backtrack. Let's take a step back real quick. Um, my name is Max, that's two X's. Clever. <laughs> and listen, I can definitely afford this car. I'm a very serious buyer. We could work something out. Look, you're wasting my time. So I'm gonna ask you nicely once more to please leave the property. Now, if you don't, I'm gonna have to call the police and have you arrested for trespassing. Tresp... Have I made myself clear? Trespassing, listen, lady, I'm just trying to buy a car. Don't you just work in commission? That's it, you asked for it. Oh, oh, come on, we, get, we don't gotta do that right now. Come on, seriously? Okay. Of course, this happens all the time. Yeah, hi, is this the Bangle Park Police Department? Yeah, hey, I'm over at Wesley Motors and I need to report a trespasser on our property. All right, all right, whatever, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. On second thought, that might not be necessary. He said he's gonna leave. Yes, yes, thank you. Oh, I definitely will call you back if he returns. Yeah, all right, bye-bye now. Mm -hmm. That was your final warning. Now get lost, punk. And all that jazz, you can rouge your knees and roll your stockings down. Hello, young man. Are you being helped? Helped is not exactly what I would use. I'm not sure where all my salespeople are at the moment. I'd be happy to help you. Do you work here? Indeed. My name is James Wesley and I own this dealership. So you, really, so you're like the boss man around here? That's correct. And what's your name? Max, Max Flo. Oh, nice to meet Wait a minute, Max, 
You are Max Flo, the hip hop artist. In the flesh. <laughs> it is a pleasure to meet you. Hey, look, not to be disrespectful or anything, but I wouldn't expect someone like you to like know my music. That's kind of dope, I ain't gonna lie. Well, actually my granddaughter turned me on to your music a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> now, I, I know I may seem ancient to someone from your generation, <laughs> but back in my day, I was a pretty decent musician myself. Really? What instrument you used to play? I played the bass guitar for a couple of groups in the 70s, and I also put out one solo album in 1980. Oh, really? That's tight. <laughs> hey, maybe I might use you for my background vocals on my next album. <laughs> that would be amazing. So, Mr. Flo, uh, it is an honor to have you at my dealership. Of course, I guess. Tell me, is there anything that you like here? Any vehicles that you like? Well, there was one I was interested in, but, you know, but I was told it was unavailable. Who told you that? I don't know, some sales manager, short lady, brown hair, weird looking. Ah, oh, I think you're talking about Kathy. <laughs> uh, I think, yeah, I think that's the one. She was also very rude, telling me that my money is dirty and that she was gonna call the cops on me. She did what? <laughs> no, 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 that, that, that's totally unacceptable. It absolutely is. But you know, I think it's time we have a little chat with Miss Allen. Uh, okay. Follow me. I don't want to talk to that lady no more. Okay, here's her office. Wait here a moment until I call you in. Gotcha, I'll be right outside the door. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Wesley, well, how are you doing today? Hello, Kathy. Hi. So, where are all our salespeople today? There's no one down in the lot. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Wesley. Um, I'm actually the only salesperson here. Well. Omar called in sick again, and uh, Dave's on vacation. Okay, well what about Martha? Martha? She quit two days ago. What? Why? Who cares? She was a pain in the butt anyhow. Martha was our top salesperson. Mr. Wesley, not to worry. I am in complete control. Really? So I don't have to worry about losing potential customers. Customers? What customers? Well, there was a very motivated one downstairs, but there was no one there to help him. Mr. Wesley, uh, I've been here since 7 a.m. I can assure you that there was no customers here today. I mean, zero. Hmm. What about the one you turned away earlier? Oh, you mean that black kid? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wesley, I can assure you that he is not a potential customer. As a matter of fact, I think he's a drug dealer because he tried to bribe me with cash. Really? Well, unbelievable. Mr. Flo, would you like to come in here for a minute, please? What's up? Well, what are you doing here? Didn't I tell you to get lost? M Mr. Wesley, I I'm not sure what this punk has been telling you but he is not a potential customer. He is a nuisance and a derelict. Nonsense. Do you have any idea who this young man is? Some thug with a rap sheet a mile long, I'm assuming. Well, your assumption is incorrect. I mean, she's right about the rap part. What are you talking about? This is Max Flo. He is a rapper. His songs are all over the radio. Hmm. He's a musician. And a very accomplished one at that. His last album, Lyrical Echo, won the Grammy. Your stuff, Mr. Wesley. Respect. You gotta be kidding me. This thug won a Grammy? Ha! What is this world coming to? Oh, my thoughts exactly, Mrs. Uh, Allen. Mm. I'm sorry, but today's incident is the last straw. I cannot have someone like you representing my company. I've worked way too hard and far too long. Mr. Wesley, what are you saying? I mean, I've worked at this company for almost 10 years now. And each year our sales have decreased. I blamed it on the market and other factors, but clearly I was mistaken. Mr. Wesley, with all due respect, this company would have went bankrupt years ago if it wasn't for me. You need me. What I need is a leader, not someone who will turn away potential customers just because of their age or the color of their skin. Preach on, Pop. Preach on. Mrs. Allen, your services are no longer needed here. 
What? You're fired. You have to the end of the day to collect all your belongings. You can't do this, Mr. Wesley. It's done. Now, in the meantime, I have a customer to take care of. Mr. Flo, would you like to go see our warehouse? Warehouse? What's in the warehouse? Well, we just got a new shipment of high-end luxury vehicles. Now, I think we have a Ferrari, <laughs> uh, several Mercedes-Benz, a Lamborghini, and I think we ha might have a vintage Porsche 944. 911. Ah. What color? Candy apple red. Yeah. I have to see that Porsche. <laughs> absolutely. Right that way. All right. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I wish you all the best in all your future endeavors, Miss Allen. But, but wait, Mr. Wesley. Could you find it in your heart to maybe write me a letter of recommendation? <laughs> that's, that's a good one, Mrs. Allen. <laughs> I'm so glad you still have yours. <laughs> Your sense of humor. Farewell. What just happened? Why me? Why me? Ah. Ah.